<laughs> Hi guys, um, Rick Willie, that's me. So I just wanted to explain uh, a concept that I really tried to work with um, based on my mystical experience in 2012, um, which unequivocally showed me that... <laughs> Everything, <laughs> everything, everything is just made of consciousness. It's like a projection. Um, so the analogy that I really like to work with and that I want to share with you guys, um, whoever happens to watch this, is that if you think of a TV screen, okay, um, when a TV is off, it's just black. There's nothing shows up on it. And when you turn on the TV, you know, you get characters, images, you know, things start showing up. <laughs> so from my experience and my studies that, you know, I've uh, listened to a lot of non-dual teachers, um, you know, a whole list of them, a whole slew of them. But from my experience, if I don't know, I've been trying to follow a linear thought here and I'm getting all kinds of different ideas, so bear with me, I'll try to get through this. But if you think of a screen and and what shows up on it, like a movie, whether it be a nature movie or a horror movie or whatever, does the screen Here's the question I ask myself, especially when I get like judgmental thoughts or, you know, if I get down on myself, I get depressed or whatever. I try to just work with myself a little bit and ask the question, does the TV screen give a rat's ass about what shows up on it? Never. It doesn't judge it. It doesn't care. It just allows everything to just show up. Next part. Does what shows up on the screen affect the screen in any way? Nope. <laughs> so, so that's another thing. When we have like... Killers, murderers, politicians, you know, just assholes in life, whatever, right? Lose a job, blah, 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 whatever it is, right? Does it affect the screen that that image is showing up on? No. Does the screen care? No. <laughs> so, if you want to have this idea of God, we can use that, right? Doesn't care. That could be a tough one for a lot of people. And they'd be like, you know, probably right there, I just had some people turn me off. <laughs> and that's fine, but just hear me out. Um, because if we use that analogy, it's it's useful. Um, I find it very useful, and it's it's many times, it's pulled me out of some you know, pretty deep funks because I, you know, I've lived pretty much my whole life with just, you know, the, the thought of, you know what, this ain't worth it. I don't want to live anymore. Let's just pull the plug and find a way to do away with myself. That idea has been in my pocket for 60 years, pretty close. All right, I'll be 60 in uh, this coming April of 2020, uh, 2012. Uh, I'm sorry, 2020. Um, the experience I had was in 2012. So, but I, I hope that you can use that analogy in your life. And I'm making this video for myself so that I can kind of refer back to it and go like, oh yeah, right, the screen, it doesn't give a shit. And that's what I am. That my higher self is not a soul. It's not a anything. It's just a screen which is everywhere it's you know it, it <laughs> it's not um 
It's not like the TV screen where it has, you know, edges and everything. It's just, it, it has no beginning and no end. This I know from that experience because, it, it, well, I, I can't say why. <laughs> it was just, that's, was my experience. It, you know, it was just, I was pulled out of I, I was pulled out of this character called Rick and shown the truth for a lack of a better term, right? And it's not my truth, it's not somebody else's truth, it's just the truth that can't be debated, nor can it really be explained or described, even though I'm trying. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just laugh every time I make a video because I get a little giddy about, you know, I love talking about it because it does get me giddy because it gives me that feeling again that yeah, it, this shit ain't important, man. And, and, you know, I could be a murderer and when this character dies, when the body dies, all the, the personality, the personal traits, the tendencies, the aspects, all that dies with it. And what you're left with is a blank slate, a blank screen, which still exists. So it's not like oblivion, right? So if we want to use, uh, you know, the Bible, it's it says, uh, in the beginning was the void. And guess what? There is still the void. And it exists. And everything exists within it. Just like, you know, you're looking at a screen at my image, right? That image isn't real. It's just something on a screen. Okay, so if I look around me at what I am seeing, be it a tree, uh, you know, blade of grass, a dog, a person, uh, whatever, right? That too is an image on a screen which I falsely take to be a reality. This can be really hard to make <sighs> to navigate life with that idea because you can use it as an excuse to be completely apathetic. Um, well, fuck it, nothing matters, so why bother? And I dealt with that, and I still deal with that. So, yeah, th I mean, that perspective does make it hard, but when you're going through difficult shit, or even the good stuff, right, it's good to remember this is not my true reality, this is not my true self. And it's always good to have that thought firmly placed. Firmly, firmly placed. It's better if it's not a thought, but you see it as your reality and you live from that space, which I don't. I, you know, I had, the, I had that experience. I know what that feels like. God, I missed that really bad <laughs> because it was like, you know, um, yeah, that song uh, by the Bee Gees, I Started a Joke, that song is so perfectly explained, that idea, right, um, I started a joke which started the whole world crying. Oh, but I couldn't see. And, you know, Google it. Listen to the words to that. Right? And then I fell out of bed, hurting my head from things that I said. Then I finally died, which started the whole world living. So there was that whole shift of perception. And that's what I think that song is really about. Now, before I had my experience, I used to think that that song was about being a victim. 
because that was the role I was playing and that's how I saw myself and the world around me as kind of out to get me and yeah, yeah I'm, you know I, there's that aspect still is with me absolutely you know so I'm not coming from a place that I'm trying to teach anybody anything I'm just trying to share and if it's useful to you use it if you think I'm full of shit hey you know what I'm good with that too I don't care right um so a lot of people try to make their to improve themselves, right? Um, personal development. You know, I want to be a better, more spiritual person. Well, if you're the screen already, and things are just showing up on it, how important is it to make better things show up on the screen of what you already are? It only matters to the character. It doesn't matter to the screen. So, you know, what do you do with that? That's my question. I mean, I have a really hard deal to, uh, time dealing with that because this character wants to be, you know, I, I want to be a better person. I, absolutely, I want to be more caring. I want to be more kind, more loving, I, all that. Yeah, absolutely I do. But, does the screen of consciousness, right? Getting back to the analogy of the screen, you know, the screen and the TV. Does it give a rat's ass if I'm Adolf Hitler and the worst criminal that you could possibly imagine? Or if I'm a saint in this, you know, on this planet? No, it doesn't care. So, I mean, do with that as you will. Hopefully you don't go like, well, pfft, fuck it, I'm going to go kill a bunch of people. No, please don't. You know, I mean, let's be reasonable here. But, yeah, I, I think I need to stop with this because this idea taken to one extreme or the other can be dangerous. And it's hard. That's what makes my life kind of difficult. Because I do use that analogy, and sometimes the mind will f fucking play games with you. <laughs> that's what the mind does. And that's when it actually is the most useful to go, wait a minute, you know, these thoughts are images on the screen of consciousness, and I don't have to pay attention to those. Right, so we have the power of attention, and we can focus it, or we can broaden it. So when certain thoughts come up, uh, it's helpful to focus that attention away from those negative thoughts and towards a better thought, which is. Does the screen care? No. But that 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 thought can also be used in a negative connotation, right? So it doesn't matter either way. And that's the tricky part about this whole thing, about this idea, right? If it doesn't care, then why should I? No, well, that's not really a right attitude either. So. Uh, that's my most confusing aspect and uh, I have a friend who I hope doesn't matter mind if I mention his name but uh, Mike Graves and uh, Mike if you're listening to this at all yeah, kudos man because we have some great conversations about trying to figure out um, what to do with that you know and how to live your life um, how should I live my life how should you live your life I'm not here to tell anybody how to do it <laughs> because in the end, it doesn't matter, right? It really doesn't. So, yeah, I, I, I'm just going to have to stop right there because if it doesn't matter, what do you do with that? What do I do with my life? And uh, that's been really hard for me. 
to try to really figure that out from that perspective, right? Once I've had that knowledge, yeah. All right, this video is getting a little bit long. It's about 15 minutes already, so I don't want to get uh, too long. But if this has been helpful or you want to have a conversation about it, um, yeah, feel free to contact me or, uh, you know, post, uh, you know, comments or something. And, yeah, let's see where it goes. <laughs> All right, thanks. Bye.